What's up everybody, Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews here. So something happened recently that could cause a serious shift in the gaming world, and I'm not sure that it's a good thing. I came across an article recently about AI gaming peripherals that learn your moves and adjust to improve your gaming performance. These products were revealed at the recent 2024 CES and made by a company that some of you old school gamers may remember. Game Shark. So I wanna talk about not only the products that were unveiled, but also answer the question of, should AI be in gaming? For those of you unfamiliar, GameShark is a company that's been around the gaming industry for a very long time, and they have one purpose, to help you cheat. I got my first GameShark cartridge for the N64 back in my earlier years of gaming. The way that it worked was that you would plug your game of choice onto the top of the GameShark, then insert the cartridge into your console. And then when you booted everything up, you'd be met with a menu instead of the game itself. From that menu, you would select the game that you want cheats for, and then the specific cheats you want to use, and boom, they're active when you launch the game. My favorite cheat code back in the day was getting dual gold PP7s on GoldenEye, and I would stack these on top of Odd Job, and it was game over for my friends. Yes, I was that guy. GameShark existed across a lot of different consoles and platforms that include PlayStation 1 and 2, Nintendo Game Boys and N64, Xbox, and many others. But to be honest, I totally forgot that GameShark even existed, and I haven't used one in like 20 years. So that's why this article stood out to me so much, is because GameShark is coming back and upping their game even more. GameShark has announced a new lineup of AI-infused gaming peripherals that can process, react to, and learn from environmental and digital data in real time. This can mean a lot of different things, but GameShark specifically stated that it can do things like process your audio to know immediately what game you're playing, where it can then process out all unimportant background noise so you can hear what matters. An example of this would be playing Call of Duty and all you hear is enemy communications, gunshots, and footsteps with perfect directional sound, and then it would stamp out all unnecessary noises. This is a major advantage, not only because of what it can do, but also because it's not a software that can be blocked on consoles or desktop because it runs through the peripherals themselves. Outside of professional gaming tournaments where player equipment and software are carefully monitored, this poses a potential problem for competitive gaming in non-professional settings. And just when it finally looked like pay to win gaming was starting to die down. The audio processing piece of this seems to be connected to an audio company called Alltech Lansing because on the AI Shark's website, you can see the AI Shark logo poorly photoshopped on top of an existing pair of Alltech Lansing Whisper headphones, meaning that they could be working on a headset that pairs with the controller to help process in-game audio. But it doesn't stop at audio because GameShark also introduced several products, one of which being the AI Shark, which is a real-time video processing unit that connects via HDMI and will provide in-game analysis and feedback. Things such as figuring out what offense your opponent is weak against in Madden and helping you pass more quickly, or what play style and where opponents like to hide in Call of Duty matches will now be instantly shared with the user, allowing you to have a major advantage. And then the big focus of the peripherals are the AI Shark controller, mouse, and keyboard that will assist gamers in bettering their performance. Their descriptions online say they have built-in sensors that detect your grip, pressure, and button timing and makes real-time adjustments to button sensitivity and response. They learn from your playstyle and adapt to habits and preferences where they can then suggest button remaps and other improvements that help your gameplay. Now, as crazy and amazing as all of that sounds, there wasn't a clear demonstration of these products' abilities and the website is very limited on what it actually showcases, although it does boast about those capabilities. It's especially tough to get excited about because if you look closely at the controller, you can see the AI Shark logo crappily photoshopped onto it, just like the headphones had. And even more, the picture of the controller itself is actually just ripped from some third-party controller off of Amazon. So while the news about these products is big, I do have serious hesitations as to the validity of GameShark's claims because there are some glaring red flags right now. But maybe their main goal was actually to catch some attention and start regaining relevancy and have something planned that's actually a little bit different than what they're actually working on. If that's the case, they sure caught my eye as I'll be very interested to see how this pans out. But whether GameShark's peripherals are legitimate or not, it does raise the question on AI's future in gaming. Because there are a couple different categories that come to mind on where AI can actually be beneficial. Imagine playing a game like Red Dead Redemption 2, where it has a ton of dialogue and storylines that are very carefully thought out by actual people, and instead of having pre-written scripts for that, all NPCs just reacted to what you did and said in real time. This would provide a completely unique experience that would be impossible to replicate from gamer to gamer. Another example is imagine how good bots could be in games like Rocket League or one of my personal favorites, Dead by Daylight. AI would be incredible to feature in these scenarios because it could help you get better and provide a legitimate challenge. But when AI is designed for cheating, then it creates a massive problem. Players will always gravitate towards whatever gives them an edge, and what GameShark is talking about is just the beginning of this. Imagine a world where the controller is reacting for you so that you're winning online matches while barely doing anything yourself. Not only is this not fun for the person using AI, it's also a miserable experience for those going against it. It would eventually 
eventually evolve to the point where you're watching what's happening on screen without participating and also reduce the player ability because they aren't practicing skills themselves. So when I saw this article, I really started to go down a rabbit hole of thought after hearing about GameShark's new peripherals and what this type of product could do to the industry. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you already heard about the AI Shark products and what are your thoughts on AI being intertwined into the gaming world? AI is really in its infancy right now and it'll never be worse than it is right now. So I'm curious about what parts of the gaming industry that you think AI would be a good or bad thing in. But be sure to subscribe and join the Freaky Tech family and I really appreciate you watching today. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tech Reviews. I'll see you next time.